With the opportunity to apply for a Illuminate the Night grant from NTC Foundation Liberty Station, I knew I wanted to propose a projected labyrinth that would take place just outside my art studio. My idea was to present a labyrinth that would be fully walkable. I would use the opportunity to introduce this ancient form as fully accessible art, as it has been used throughout the centuries for contemplation, healing, and fun. When I learned that ancient labyrinths were discovered throughout the globe, built during a time before trade routes were established, I fell in love with the idea that the form could somehow be intrinsic to humans. Much of my art weaves in and out of time, and I am always on the lookout for forms that match the content of my ideas. After researching options, I chose a traditional three-circuit labyrinth because the shape fit neatly into the brick area in the courtyard just outside my art studio. I knew this because I had earlier in the year created a temporary labyrinth in that spot using spare building supplies to create the illusion of stones and battery-operated fairy lights for a First Friday art event. The enthusiasm for this simple art installation fascinated me and convinced me that presenting public work outdoors where individuals, couples, and kids could experience art was more than valid. It had to be done and I wanted to do it. The Illuminate the Night grant allowed me to design, develop, and install an art installation that visitors could enjoy any evening after dark between November 2019 and March 2020. This art installation was interactive, environmentally safe, and left no trace when taken down. Projected art was not a new idea. Projected labyrinths had been done before. I wanted my labyrinth to be a form for presenting artwork. I also wanted my labyrinth to move. So while I kept with the traditional three circuit shape, I varied up the labyrinth with videos that I took and my own paintings. My son Trevor assisted with some of the technical aspects of this project. This created an installation that changed over a two to three hour period. People would come by, walk the labyrinth, go have dinner, and then on their way back, they would exclaim, it changed. This allowed for surprise while presenting an ancient, enduring, and perhaps intrinsic form using up-to-date technology and contemporary art.